Now, we we'll are going to take up one more problem. How to solve this problem by using solidate software? The problem reads as a straight line capital PQ 65 mm long is inclined at 45 degrees to HP and 30 degrees to VP. The point capital P is 70 mm from both the reference planes and point Q is towards the reference planes. Draw the projections. So to do that, so first we'll go to the sheet one and just right click, go to sheet setup and go for A4, show background, I don't want to show background. Then go to view, click on feature. Now you just go to zoom area and take this near to the screen. Then go to home, click on uh, text. So now what I want is, I want to take the problem number 42. So here you just go to uh, Times New Roman and take the font size as 4 in time. So you just take uh, 42 and here you type a straight line capital PQ 65 mm long. A straight line capital PQ 65 mm long is inclined at 45 degrees to HP. Is inclined at 45 degrees by holding the alt key type 0176 45 degrees to hp and 30 degrees by holding the shift key by holding the alt key type 0176 and release the alt key to vp the point v is 70 mm then you take uh, the point capital p is 70 mm from both the both the reference planes both the reference planes and point Q is towards the reference planes and that point capital Q is towards is towards the reference planes okay draw the projections to just uh, show draw the projections then once you do that then you just go to select select this line and to go to the property right click and then go to properties go to index and spacing and make it 1.5 if you want then you just go to view and click on fit now so now we have the a question which has been typed now so now i want to draw the xy line and you mark vp and hp then you show this particular drawing how to show that now so you just go to uh, sketch, click on line and now first all the lines will going to have 0 0.05 thickness. So you just type 0 0.05 and then draw an inclined line, uh, draw a horizontal line. So before that first you go to uh, enter the sketch, disable, uh, enable, endpoint, intersection and horizontal or vertical. And the rest of the options of uh, enter the sketch should be switched off. Now, if you are using on ST9, you will want to get the display directly here. Suppose if you are using on SolidWorks version 19, you just go to Tools, click on Intel Sketch, and then do these activities, whatever I told now. Then, as we see, as we have the horizontal line, I want to draw one more line parallel to the XY line here and also parallel to XY line here. Since you want to draw the parallel line, so you have to go to Offset. You just go to Offset, take the distance as 70, Enter. You select this horizontal line and right click and take the distance to the take the cursor to the upper direction and click on first button of the mouse and then right click. Now again your uh, uh, previous command is offset you type 70 it's already there you just click on this and take this right click and take to the bottom side and then click on the left side of the button and then you just right click. Then once you do that then just go to line and draw a vertical line passing through these two lines with a straight line. Then go to trim corner between these two and similarly trim corner between these two. Then what I need to do now, I need to draw a line inclined at uh, 30 degrees to a length of 65 and then from this point inclined at 45 degrees towards the reference XY line. So to do that, just go to line, take end point of this and uh, take 65 mm and then inclined at minus 45 degrees because it is in the clockwise direction and then drag this locust line here 
Similarly, you just take the line and take 65 mm and to incline and counterclockwise direction is positive and that is 30 degrees to Vp and then draw this inclined line. So now I want to extend this line. So I want to create the boundary. So I just create one line and then go to extend. Extend comes in uh, split. You just take this extension line till here. So this is just a construction line what we need to do and then we just erase this. So without the boundary we cannot extend so that is the reason why I am doing this exercise. Then what I should do now I want to take this point directly till here and then you rotate. Similarly I want to take this point till here and then rotate like this here. So to do that so just go to line take end point of this and draw a vertical line here. And then just go to trim corner between these two now. Similarly, you take line and take the end point of this and draw vertical line till here and then go to trim corner between these two. Now we go to circle and take end point of this and draw the radius of this as this end point. Then go to line, take end point of this and take these two as the intersection point. Then go to trim, trim this here and also this here. Now we got the front view now. Similarly, you just go to circle and take end point of this and drag this end point. Then go to line and take intersection point of these two and the end point of this. Then go to trim, trim this till here and this till here. Now as we see, both the end points of these two lines should lie on the same line. Yes, we got this. Now we go to split, split this line till here and split this line till here. Similarly, you split this line till here and you split this line till here. And you split this line till here and you split this line till here. Then go to select, select this and delete this line and delete this line. Similarly, on this side and also on this side. So deleting this one, then what I need, I just select between these two lines by holding the shift key and make this as dash dot line and the line weight will remain the same as 0 0.05. Then you select the front view and the top view and make this as 0 0.5. You got this. Then select between the two lines of these two and then you check this as 0 0.25. And similarly, you just go to this XY line and make this line as 0.13. And all other lines will going to be of uh, 0 0.05. So once you do that, now we go for the dimensioning. So you just go to the dimensioning style, modify and go to general and make this as black. All the colors of the dimensions, you make it as black because we are taking black and white printout. Then go to text, you make this as a, a solid edge. Uh, Times New Roman, you just select this and make this font size as 3. Then go to lines and coordinates, makes it as uh, line width, dimension line width as 0.1. Then uh, you take secondary units, sorry, units, you just go to this linear. So uh, here, we are taking as uh, general, okay, sorry, cancel it. Then you just go to ISO MM and then just go to modify, go to general, you make it black first. Once you do that, sorry, once you do that, then go to text tab and here you make it as 3, sorry, 4. Then go to lines and coordinates, make it as 0.1. Then go to units here, linear, you make it 0, 1. Then angular, you make it round up to 1, yes, finished. So once you do that, you just say OK and then apply. Now we go for the dimensioning. So go to distance between this line and this line. You will go to get it as nominal. You just make it 70. OK. So here we have not changed the font. You just go to this, go to modify and go to text. Here you are getting solid edge. You make it as times new Roman and say OK and say apply then automatically the dimension will going to change so then go to distance you will select between these two and you will going to get 70 now similarly you just go to angular between this line and this line okay 
you get the font size as 65. Similarly, angle between these two, you will going to get it as 45 degrees and then angle between these two, you will going to get it as 30 degrees. And then you just go to this and make it blank and select between these two, you will going to get that angle without the font. Similarly, you just select between these two, you will going to get this. Now what we need to do is we need to write the text now. So that is P dash P and everything I want to write. So to do that, I will just go to home, click on annotation and you mark this as capital X and you mark this as capital Y and this as VP and this as HP. Now you just come down to here to make it as capital P and this as capital Q and this as locus of Q then here this as capital Q and this as locus of Q and similarly you have capital P once you do all capital letters now you just go to put up the caps lock P dash and this as P and this as Q this as Q dash okay and this as q1 dash dash and this as q1 and this as q2 and this as q2 dash so this is how you will be able to get the drawing once you do that now i will just right click then you come down to sketching and then uh, go to view click on zoom area and take it into the screen and then go to sketching, click on move now. You just move this and appropriately you place this. I will just take this P dash and then you take Q2 dash, then Q1 dash, you take it here, then you take locus of Q here and then you just take Q here. Similarly, Q dash here. So once you do that, so the front view part is over. So you just go to VP and then you take HP, then you take X here and then you take Y here. Then similarly, you just go to view and go to fit, then go to zoom area and now you take the bottom view. So here go to sketch, click on move and you take Q here. Okay, you just move this Q. So you just take Q2 here, then you take locus of Q somewhere here and you place it accordingly how it will be marked so similarly q1 here then p then uh, you take capital p here so once you do that now we go for view and fit so then we need to give the projections now to do the directions of projection you go to home click on leader click on sketching click on tools on here so you just take the line width so that is a point on element then you just click on this and you make this similarly you then uh, one projection and then you take this bottom projection now you take this and then you rotate like this so this is how you will be able to get the drawing done now you just come out of this and then go to home click on annotation so here you click on symbol now you type symbol select this and here you type small letter a alpha and here you small letter b then go to sketching click on move disable copying and you just move it and here you just move alpha so this is how you will be able to complete the drawing it says draw the projection so you need not have to find the angles of alpha beta and, and also their apparent lengths it's not required Therefore, this is how you will be able to solve this problem by using this audited software. Thank you.